my thoughts exactly. As a busy singleton in a big city, I'm on Tinder, and I enjoy a good match now and then. But who has the time to spend swiping? I haven't got time for this Mickey Mouse bullshit! Today, I'll share three tips on how to Tinder like a boss. But let's get some things out of the way first. Remember, only noobs swipe left. The pros swipe right. Every time, on every card. The way we see it, if others are going to be picky, we can't afford to. We don't even look at your face. We'll check it out if we match, of course, thoroughly. And if we notice puppy dog ears, or you're shirtless in the picture, Yuck. we're on matching. Now, all that right swiping is sure to cause RSI. And the last thing anyone wants on a first date is a match with shaky forearms. She was a bit old for me anyway. So here are some pro tips. One, get an auto flicker. Tinder launched a web version two years ago. The pros are opening up a laptop, going to tinder.com, positioning their cursor on the green heart and initiating an auto clicker every 300 milliseconds. You wouldn't believe how many matches those rack up. Then all you need to do is separate the chaff from the wheat. Is the trick making him disappear? Yes. Two, get Tinder Plus for unlimited swipes. This is a no-brainer if you can afford it. They still limit you to about 50 cards, but then you just get back to your assignment and return in 25 minutes. Pomodoro technique. Three, play around with distance. Never underestimate the power of distance with Tinder. You'll see more cards as you extend your maximum area. So make the most of them. I like to start at 5K, and each time I run out of cards, gradually work my way up to 30. If you're further than that, we probably want different things. It's not me, it's you. So, those are my tips, and this was my third podcast. I'm still finding my voice, so would love some feedback. Be brutal. Thanks.